Hi everybody, welcome back to Taylor Toned. You have joined me for another workout, but we're on the beach today. It is gorgeously sunny, glorious morning, but don't worry if you've not got a beach, you can do this workout anywhere. You can do it in your spare bedroom, living room. All you need is enough room for a Pilates or yoga mat. If you don't have a Pilates and yoga mat, don't worry, you just need a little bit of space, carpet maybe, something to protect your knees. If you're not here subscribe, go ahead, do that right now. I'm uploading brand new workouts every other day and I wouldn't want you to miss out every time I give you a new workout. And let's get into this amazing barless bar workout. Let's do it. Okay, bringing yourself up into a standing position. You're gonna send your feet wider than the hips here. So we're gonna go into a nice deep plie. Bring your hands in towards a prayer position. We're gonna inhale the breath in and then exhale, sinking the hips down to the floor, knees over the top and the middle toe. We're gonna to get straight into it in a second. When the music kicks in, let's do this. We go down, lift. Drop down, lift up the feet are wide and the hips here. Let's wake up the body. Who's ready for 25 minutes with me? Working, toning, lengthening. Getting Taylor toned. We go down, then lift. Knees over the top of that middle toe. Pull the abs in. Now it's like you're sliding your back down a wall. Go drop down, lift up. Super excited for today's workout with you all in the glorious sun. Drop down, lift up. You've got four more than we're holding. Three more, give the thumbs up as well. If you normally watch me and you love my new location, drop down now, hold it. Sink those hips low. Reach the hands over the top of the head. Little, tiny squeezes down, down, down. So the hands are over the top of the head in that fifth position. Squeeze those hips to the floor. Inhale, exhale, seven, six, five, four more drops. Three, two, one. Well done, lift it up. Coming into a standing position, feet come directly underneath the hips. You're gonna bring your arms into two 90 degree angles. Squeeze in, lift up. Quick arm section before we go in towards your planks. In, lift, you've got two 90 degree angles through those arms, Woo! it's getting hot already. In, up, inhale, exhale. So it's like you're trying to create yourself a cactus shape in the air with the arms go in and lift. So I've got a little mini bend through my knees here. My abs are squeezing in, go down, then lift. You've got five, four more, three more here. Let's go, two. Last one, knee gonna lift it, hold it. Palms forwards, knee gonna rotate. Palms down, palms up. Palms down, palms go lift. So the palms press down for two, they squeeze it up for two. We press it down and down, we squeeze it up. Add up, three more, go drop, Woo. go lift. Two more, down, down, we squeeze it up and lift. One more, go down and down, now squeeze it, lift it, hold it, little pulses, up and up and up. So don't drop out, commit to that burn with me today. We're gonna burn, we're gonna shake, you're gonna hate me, it's gonna be so worth it though. Little tiny lifts, you have just 10, nine, you've got eight more here, and seven, and six, and five, you've got four, Woo! three, two, one, hold it. Now bring the palms together, bring the elbows together. So from side on, you should look like this. From front on, you should look like this. Little, lifts, lifts. So now you're toning the shoulders, you're toning those biceps, it should be burning. We go up and up, inhale. Exhale, squeeze your fingertips up. Let's work those arms before we get into your core. Go seven and six, go five, go four more pushes. Three, two, one. Whew. Give those arms a quick shake off. Make sure you've got enough room here to walk out into a plank position. So you're gonna bring your chin towards your chest. 
you're going to roll down through the spine and you're going to walk your hands all the way out into a full plank. Now, I kind of wish I would have gone on a flat piece of sand. It would have been a million times easier. But hey-ho, I'm on a little bit of a wonky piece of sand. So you want your hands underneath your shoulders. You want to squeeze your inner thighs together. Inhale, exhale. Eye line in between your fingertips. Not if your hips are too high, you're not going to feel it. You're just going to get a shoulder burn out. If your hips are too low, like this, I'm not going to do it for long, but you'll get a lumbar spine ache. So tuck the hips under. Squeeze the belly button up and in. Inhale the breath in. Exhale the breath away. Seven. Six. Lower the knees to the floor. In five. In four. In three. In two. In one. Now lower the knees down towards the floor. Bring the toes in. You're going to press in towards a push-up. Hands under the shoulders. Inhale in. Exhale. Now bend the elbows to the waist. All the way press and lift. So hands need to be under the shoulders. Bend the elbows to the waist. Squeeze up, lift and press. Inhale. Exhale. Now don't worry if you can't get as low as me. Don't worry if you can only take a little miniature bend. No biggie. We're working to our own maximum potential. So this is all about you. Listen to your body. Inhale. Don't compromise on form just because you're trying to get low to the floor. Squeeze the elbows to the waist. Shine the chest forwards. Toning your upper body. Toning your arms. Saying goodbye to those bingo wings. Saying hello to that brand new physique. All the way up and lift. Two more. Inhale. Exhale, we bend it down, we shoot it up and lift, last one, now bend it down and hold it, slide the elbows to the waist, little, bend, bend, you've got seven, I know, six and five, child's pose in four, in three more bends, two, one, Woo. child's pose, bring the toes together, open through the knees, push the hips backwards and then you're going to rock it forwards again bring it on towards your forearms and then tuck the toes under lift the knees up and away I'm covered in sand here today shoulders over the top of those elbows squeeze the abs in you're gonna rotate left fingertips to right elbow you're gonna roll it round towards me towards the camera and shoot your top hand to the ceiling towards the laptop even computer shoot the top hand to the ceiling inhale exhale now slide the hips up to the ceiling this top hand is going to rotate under the waistline all the way up for two so we go under up Woo! so hard on that diagonal for me under up now you're going to come back to the center roll it round now don't worry, you're rolling away from me now. You're gonna rotate, right fingertips to the left elbow. You're gonna roll it round, top hand to the, top hand to the sky. Modification, underneath knee bends. Lifting up in towards that side plank. Wrapping it under for two. Lifting it up to the sky. Wrapping it under for two. Lifting up to the sky. One more, wrapping under. Lifting up, now hold that, pushing the hip nice and high to the ceiling, to the sky. Inhale, exhale, you're going to come back to the centre, onto those forearms. Now start to pedal the knees, tap the knee, we go, tap the knees, tap and tap, we go, tap, squeezing those abs in, nice and tight, tap the knees, inhale, exhale, run those knees down towards the floor, knit the belly button in you've got eight seven six you've got it five four three two one Woo. coming up and towards your knees sweep your feet forwards and you're going to bring your legs in front of yourself here sinking the hips down low bring your fingertips towards your heels now lift the hips up and away you're going to go into a tricep dip modification of this allow the hips to drop down towards the floor if you want the advancement with me keep the hips lifted and you're going to take a big bend and a big lift big bend big lift big bend big lift modification rock the weight forwards to make it harder rock the weight backwards but bend those elbows behind yourself you've got it six and push 
five, then you're gonna hold the bend. Four more here. Let's go, three, woo, two. Last one, now hold that bend. Oh, little bends. You know what, it's so hard filming on the beach. Don't know where my stopwatch is. We could be doing this forever. Little tiny bends, you have just, woo. And there's a fly in my eye. Seven, six, you've got five, four, three, two, one. So many things to think about next time. Never going in a horizontal again. Okay, you're gonna go ahead, spin it round, and bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Hands under those shoulders. And then from here, cat and cow. Inhale, scoop the abdominals out. So quick stretch here to finish off our 10 minutes. Lift the eye line up, press the chest down. Inhale, scoop the abs up and out. Exhale, press the chest down. Lift the eye line up. And then from here, bring those hands back underneath your shoulders. You're gonna go ahead. We're gonna move now into your booty section. Eight minutes of bum work. We're gonna do this. I want you to bring your left heel to your left glute, just like this. And then squeeze the toe up to the ceiling, eye line to the floor. So I don't want any of this weird stuff going on. Your hips are your square, your toe is high. Now come out of the shoulders, eye line towards the floor. You're gonna bring knee down to the floor, all the way up for two. So we go, inhale in, exhale lift. Inhale in, exhale lift. Knee in line with the hip, knee in line with the shoulders. So that's the pause inside of your body right now. For me, it's my left side. For you, it's the right side because you're mirroring me right now at home. It's like it's pushed up against a wall. It's like it's pushed up against a brick wall. So you don't want to sink into your support and hip. So the side of your body that isn't moving right now, the one that's stable and still, the hips shouldn't be sticking out. You should have a straight alignment from your ear to your shoulder, towards your hip to your toe. Everything should be nice and straight. Squeeze that toe to the ceiling. Let's go three more of these. Inhale, exhale up towards the ceiling. Let's go two more of these. You've got this, squeezing it in. Up and lift, one more. Squeezing it in. Now you're gonna uplift and hold. So, the heel is gonna take a little tiny, so my foot is gonna squeeze in, in, in. That will switch on your hamstring. So right now, it's like you've got a ball behind the active leg. So that left leg, it should be for you at home. It's like you're trying to puff all the air out of a squidgy ball, a beach ball. You're trying to puff the air out, squeeze it, hamstring curl, this is called. You've got just seven, but I'm taking a little bit of a balletic variation because my toe is pointed. Three, two, one. Now hold it, push the toe high, in, up. So we're going on the beat here. We want to shake together. We want to burn together today. We go in, then lift, you got it, down, then up. Let's do this. Three, whoo, two, last one. Point the toe towards the ceiling, towards the sky. Make sure your knee and your toe are in a straight line. Little tiny pokes up. So we've got 30 seconds here left to go. We go squeeze and squeeze, inhale. Exhale, squeeze the toe to the ceiling. Now, can you push that knee maybe one inch higher? Can you pull the abs away from the floor? It's like you're trying to balance your favorite drink on your back. For me at this point, it's water. There's a bottle of ice water right over there with my things. I'm visualizing a glass of it on my back so that it doesn't fall off. You have a final, let's go, five, four seconds, three, two, one, dropping the knee down towards the floor. Give it a quick shake off. The forearms go down. Who's ready for another forearm plank? Tuck the toes under. You have about 50 seconds of this. So lift those knees off. Inhale, exhale, keep squeezing that belly button in. My stopwatch has completely gone here. We could be here for hours, days. 
Inhale, exhale, 30 seconds left to go. Keep squeezing that belly button in away from the floor. Keep pulling your inner thighs together. If you haven't guessed by now, there are a few assistants running around. <laughs> They're holding stopwatches, cameras, all sorts is going on. You've got another 15 more seconds. Squeeze your glutes together. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Give me all you've got. Modification of this, of course. Dropping down on towards the knees, rocking forward onto the fleshy parts. You've got just, let's do it, six and five and four, three, two, one. Dropping it down. Let's mix it up. Other side. Spin yourself all the way around. Now you're going to bring your hands back underneath your shoulders. We're now going to work the right side of your butt, squeezing your heel towards your glute, and then press that toe up to the ceiling. So you must make sure right now you've got that other leg. So notice the other leg floating to the ceiling. Inhale, squeeze down for two. Exhale, push and lift. Inhale, bring it in. Exhale, lift it up. So throughout my workouts, I want you to make sure you are breathing the whole time. Breath is gonna get you through this. You wanna create synergy between your breath and movement. Create flow. Think about those Pilates principles of flow, of precision. Think about that Pilates body, a brand new bar and Pilates body that is coming your way. We go in for two. Exhale, push and lift. You've got just two more of these. Squeeze and up and lift. One more. Then you're going to lift it up and you're going to hold it. The heel is going to squeeze into the glute. Take little tiny squeezes in. So it's like a trino. Again, you've got a ball behind the active leg. You're trying to puff all the air out of that ball. Hip bones are down towards the floor. So if you work out in front of a mirror, that would be absolutely amazing. Maybe next time if you've not got one now. But I want you to look in the mirror. So you're looking at me and the mirror. I know there's a lot going on. And I want you to make sure your hips, they're pointing down towards the floor. And you should sort of be able to see that arch of your butt really pronounced. So both the bum cheeks are up to the ceiling, working your gluteus maximus here. Your gluteus maximus is a big sheet of muscle that basically goes from here right round to the outside. We're towing that up. We go in and in. You've got six and five. You've got four more here. Three, you've got it. Two, one. Now stay there. Single counts. Inhale, exhale. So my bum right now, my booty, my seat. We don't really say bum in bar. We say seat, really. So if you hear me say seat, that's why. That is burning. It's right now on fire. It's shaking so much. We've got a minute and a half left of working your butt. And then we're gonna go two minutes of abs. If you've got any wrist issues, injuries, or if you're just generally fatigued right now, you can always drop down onto the forearms for a little bit of a modification, any injuries on the wrist. So any exercise, if you do my workouts in the future, any exercises I take straight arm, you can always take those on your forearm. We go up and in. Who is burning? If you have burned during this workout at any point, give me a huge thumbs up on this button, on this video. Make sure you press that subscribe button. And also leave me a little bit of positivity down below. Let me know what you think about my new location in up i think i've got about 50 seconds to go but i'm really not sure you've got four three woo, two one now you're gonna hold it up oh my gosh it's hot i'm burning it's gonna be worth it though squeeze the heel in little tiny lift 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 Inhale, exhale, extend through those arms. Woo. Up, up, let's do it. Lift, lift. You have a final 10. Oh, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Push it. Four, three, two. Woo. Okay, sweeping your feet round and forwards in front of yourself. Covered in sand. 
You're going to lay your back on towards the floor. You're going to bring your hands around the side of your hips and you're going to lift one leg into a tabletop. You're going to lift the other leg into a tabletop. Now squeeze your inner thighs together and imagine your knees are over the top of the top of a table, toes in line with your knees. Now allow your head to come down towards the floor. Squeeze the belly button in. Inhale, exhale, you're gonna lower this right leg down for two, squeeze up and lift. Other leg, down for two, up and lift. Down for two. Now press, imprint your spine, your lower spine in towards the floor. Focus on knitting your belly button down to the floor. Lift it up. Knees are over the top of your hips. Toes are in alignment with your knees. Here you go, lift up, lift up. Now keep breathing, inhale, keep breathing. Exhale away, three more. We go down and down. We lift it up and up. Two more, go down and down. We lift it up and up. One more, go down and down. Now hold it there, knees over the top of your hips, toes in line with the knees. You're gonna bring your hands underneath your thighs. You're gonna tuck your chin to your chest and peel your head, neck, shoulders off the floor. We are right near the end. You don't have long left to go. You're gonna lengthen those feet out. I'm blinded by the sun, I'm sorry. You're gonna lengthen those feet out. You're gonna push your palms towards the floor. Not long left to go now, I think. Woo! Inhale, exhale. You've got four, three, two, one. Well done. Allow the head to come down towards the floor. Inhale, exhale. Just appreciate how hard you worked during that workout. Bring the knees in towards the chest. Rock yourself back, rock yourself up and forwards. Put yourself a brush off if you're on the stand like me. You're gonna send yourself all the way back on towards your hips. You're gonna reach the hands towards the ceiling. Take a nice inhale, lift, lengthen. And as you exhale, reach the hands forwards, fold the body over, lengthen the hands down to the feet. And then slowly roll yourself all the way up. Bring both the feet, send them round behind yourself. Hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Tuck the toes under, inhale, exhale, press the heels to the floor, lift the hips high. Lower back down on towards those knees, take an inhale here. Exhale, press the heels to the floor, lift the hips high down dog. One more of those, lower the knees down towards the floor. Take a breath in, take a breath, exhale. This time you're gonna hold it. Lengthen those hips high, drive the back of the heels down towards the floor. Drop the chest low, find a breath. Walking the hands all the way in towards your feet, folding the body over the top. Let the crown of the head come down towards the floor. Now stay here. For that advancement, for that advancement today, option, you can always interlace the hands behind the back, interlock the fingertips, and let the fingertips just rock behind the head. You'll find the deeper stretch into the hamstrings, down the back of the legs, through the pectoral, through the deltoid muscles. If you don't have the flexibility, don't worry, you can work towards this one. And then slowly let the hands drop down towards the floor, bend through the knees. Slowly peel, roll, unwind through every single vertebrae in your spinal column. Roll all the way up through the shoulders. Let the head come up. Give yourself a couple shoulder roll round. Bring in your face, bring yourself to face towards me. Bring your hands into a prayer position. Roll the shoulders back and down. Grow the crown of the head up towards the ceiling and really grow as tall as you possibly can. Find a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Again, deep breath, inhale. Exhale. And well done in your tailor-toned workout with me on the beach today. 
If you did it on the beach, you're covered in sand. Maybe on the grass, you're covered in grass. Amazing. If you did it at home, look at you, I want to say today. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give me a massive thumbs up on this video. Let me know if you found the shake, if you found the burn. And I will see you again very, 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 very soon for another workout in the sun. Bye, everyone.